testifying in her own trial in a Moscow courtroom. Greiner saying that she was not read her rights when she was arrested on drug charges. She also says that an interpreter translated only a fraction of what was said during her questioning and that officials instructed her to sign documents without providing an explanation. Greiner has been behind bars in Russia for more than five months now. Joining me right now is CNN contributor Patrick McEnroe. He's played professional tennis all over the world. It's good to see you, Patrick. Nice to see you. She also said, uh, she had said this before, but she said it in court again today, that she packed the cannabis oil in question that started all this by mistake. She said she was in a hurry when she mm -hmm. was packing to, to get back to Russia. You've traveled all, of, all over the world as an athlete, as a coach, as an analyst. What do you think of this whole thing? Well, I think, first of all, Russia is a sovereign country, right? They have their own laws, which are a lot different than our laws, certainly when it comes to drug use and so on. Uh, you have to be aware of what those are. I remember traveling once to Singapore mm -hmm. in my 20s, going to a tournament there, and it very clearly said on the landing card, if you are caught with drugs, you will be, I can't remember if it was life in prison or the death penalty. It, whatever it was, it gets your attention pretty quick. So Brittany, to me, there was nothing malicious about what she was trying to do. I'm sure she was using it for her own personal medical reasons, which is not uncommon at all. Uh, but now she's in this situation where, let's be honest, she's being used by Putin as a political pawn mm -hmm. uh, because of her stature, because of who she is. She's American. She's African-American. She's a famous woman. She's married to another woman, which, by the way, is against the law in Russia. And even a Russian tennis player, Dara Kazakina, who wasn't allowed, you remember, Kate, to play at Wimbledon because she's Russian. She's the top Russian player. She just came out and said she's a gay woman. She's with another Russian athlete who's a woman as well. So these are situations that I think have made this even more in the spotlight yeah. and allowing Putin to continue to use this for his own political gain. Because as you point out, President Putin has a track record, has a history, and seems to like to use athletes mm -hmm. as political pawns for various purposes. I and mean, we've seen that more than once, just more than one recent example of this. Yeah, absolutely. And I think this is, this is a situation where Brittany Griner, in my view, exercised poor judgment by bringing this uh, into the country at all. She's been to Russia before. She's played for the team there times before. So you have to think that she was aware of the different laws and, and regulations going into the country. Whether she, I, I find it a little hard to believe that she was, was packing in a way that was rushed. And that's one of her arguments. Just say, listen, I, I needed this for my own medicinal reasons. That makes sense. Uh, unfortunately, the laws in Russia are what they are. You're caught carrying this type of drug. Uh, you could be in jail for up to 10 years. Is this a, how do these conversations go as a coach to athletes or among athletes when you're traveling abroad um, with the understanding that you just pointed out that obviously every sovereign nation has its own laws? I think you need to be very aware of what you're getting into, where you're going, what the laws are, what the regulations are, getting into the country, getting out of the country, and just be be very, very judicious in how you go about this. And certainly this was a case where this is not turning out to be very good for Brittany at all. We hope she gets back quickly.